Yeah. 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 I will repeat what he said later on. <laughs> you say, use me as a speaker. Uh, how many courses or course with Mr. Like just uh, <laughs> Did you live to regret it? You <laughs> don't have to answer. Yeah, that's what we But I still have to introduce Mr. Mirza for those who uh, didn't take, uh, didn't, were not fortunate enough to take the course with him. Uh, he is an instructor, an instructor at LAU with a unique combination of knowledge and experience in marketing. Uh, he joined LAU after working with multinational companies in the Middle East. He advises a wide spectrum of business institutions, such as banks, consumer goods companies, and real estate developments, both domestically and regionally, and keeps current with industry trends and developments. He has designed and delivered over 350 training seminars in marketing and selling for different managerial as well as staff levels. Uh, Mr. Najal joined the EU and he a couple of years ago. <laughs> uh, actually, when? 91? 91? I wish. 1987. Uh, just graduate. <laughs> uh, I really want to take this opportunity. But I was very young. <laughs> Sorry. I want to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Naja for uh, offering this lecture and offering his time really to put together this lecture. Uh, I believe he did put together the, this lecture, you uh, tailored it yes, for completely. us. Yes, uh, yeah, completely. Yeah. And we really, really appreciate it. Thank you are most welcome. It's my pleasure. Enjoy the lecture. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, and I'm very happy to see all of you. Those of you who took courses with me or not. I will, now you know who I am, in case you didn't. Uh, I will try and make this as enjoyable as possible. I would like to ask you one thing. Write down all the questions you may have and we will discuss them and answer them at the end. Is that okay with everyone? Now, I have uh, written this presentation with one focus in mind. Effective simplicity. I never believe in business, if you want to make it effective, make it simple. Complications leave nowhere. All right? Okay. What is your brand, individual brand perspectives? People talk a lot about the brand. The brand. What is a brand? People think it's a name. It's not a name. It's what comes in the name. What comes meaning in the name. It's not what you call. It's not Google. What's Google? Who cares? We don't care what's Google. We care what comes with Google. And persons, whether you say David Beckham or any other person, it's not the name. You could call him Walid Beckham. If he has achieved the same thing, it would have been equally effective. Now, self-marketing management is the art and science of choosing target individuals or groups and getting them, keeping them, and growing relations with them through creating, delivering, and communicating superior value. The key words, art and science. What's scientific about it? Should I brand myself as a person scientifically? What do I mean by science? I mean step by step, one, two, three, four. It's not haphazard. It is not the famous term, shanna sitmao. Okay? Whenever there are things that work, we call it shanna sit. People do work on branding themselves. What's the art about it? One word. It starts with a C. Creativity. Good for you. 
creativity. Do the undoable. Think the unthinkable. Do what has never been done before and take the risk. And brand it and you will work accordingly. Now, is it self-marketing? Do we market ourselves? Of course we do. To whom? We are not going to speak academically tonight. We are going to speak professional application. To whom? To everyone. Right? We are, if we say, the young people, we are children from night till morning or from early morning to morning. We are students during the day and we go back. If we are workers, we are parents then we become professionals, then we become friends after work, and then we go back to parenthood. Our brand has inherent in it all these facets and benefits. So that's self-marketing, giving the brand different meanings to different audiences we deal with, which we call the groups. Getting, keeping, and growing relations with them, whether it's individual, or profession. Then, a brand is a bundle of images and experiences in people's mind. Right? Amazing. We say, again, I talk Google because it's a very common universal. What is it doing? Bundle of images and experiences in people's mind. Search equals Google. There is no more search. It became Google. It. Right? It became Google. It's experience. They tried it, they are happy with it, and they stuck with it. That's a brand. You try a person at work, you are happy with them, they grow all the way to somebody recently for one hour talk at Davos, got paid 150,000 euros. Wow, and you say, what did this guy see for one hour? Yeah, divided by words, different cost per word extremely high, right? Cost per word. For you who work in advertising, we talk cost per minute, per thousand, right? per word. Which means images and experiences. And images are the impressions you get about people. From your experiences with them, and there comes what? Word of mouth. And it grows, and it grows. And your brand increases in value and so on. Then, a promise made by a particular person about the value. How can a person make a promise? A non-emotional one, Papa. Right? Every time you deal with all your different groups, you maintain the same quality. Whether your brand indicates honesty, professionalism, tenderness, trustworthiness, all of these, you are standard. You are known as a promise. And forgive me if I say, it's like eating a Kit Kat for a million times, it has the same taste. Most of the time. Because they recently changed sources and they had problems with quality nesting. Then, a quality certification, right? You say David Becker. What is he? Musician? You see? Which means what kind of football player? I play football. Why I am not Hassan Becker? He very good, thank you. Alright? Because the name has inherent in it quality. Quality football player. You say you say Chopin. You are not talking about football, right? You say actors, you say scientists, you say today, you say Sergei and Brin, the Google people. Two young 35-year-olds, people know them. And you say Sergei, and he was recently photographed in the New York underground, alone, taking a ride in the metro. True? Okay, the guy who is worth 18 billion. Riding the metro alone, doesn't matter. He is Sergei, whether he walks or rides or whatever. The brand, individual brand is strong. 
associated with creativity, right? Good experiences providing technology to people and easier lifetime. That's quality. Now, there are sometimes the brand suffers from quality problems. Right? Tiger Woods, you know Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods was a brand. If you put it on roses, they will sell. You put it on stone, stone will sell. All of a sudden, when he had some <laughs> problems that damaged the brand, everybody doesn't want to hear about Tiger Woods. His manager recently said, Tiger Woods is a strong brand that will come back. Quote, unquote. Tiger Woods. Right? Worldwide. Then, a brand is differentiation between competing brands. And we are talking about individual brands. Do people compete? Of course they do. Of course they do. People compete all the time. People compete for the friendship of one person. People compete for money, compete for business, compete for careers. Children compete for good children, compete for the love of their parents. Even children unconsciously develop their brand. I am a nice guy. I come every day, I go to school, I study. Did I ever give you a problem, mom? No. Right? Branding is an unconscious process. We are born with, but we develop. And we keep developing until we stop. Which the brain stops, and the body stops, for one reason or another. Then, so, competition. The sum of impressions about the brand is the brand image. Anyone here, I give them a name, they say, give them a name of an actor, they will tell you about it. They will tell you, nice, good-looking, sail, etc. You tell them a friend, they will give you parameters of that friendship. You tell them a subordinate, some of you are managers. And they will tell you, that's their impression, and tell them, how did you do get it? You're not psychologists. How do you get it? By behavior. By the brand performance. When the brand performs, when people perform, people evaluate them. And this is a continuing process. <coughs> okay? So, a brand is not the name. A brand is what comes with it. What was Google 10 years ago? Unknown. A name, proper. Unknown. What was Samsung 12 to 14 years ago? Unknown. Right? Complete unknown. What were Sergey and Bryn 10 years ago? Two students at Princeton doing PhD in something. Nobody heard of them. So you built the brand. Now, Hatta, you remember Bill Gates? Bill Gates was a little guy trying to put something together called a computer in the barn, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago. Then he became a world famous brand received by people for being Bill Gates. No, for being Microsoft that provided global solutions with reliability, continuity, development, and so on. And if we want to go to industries, in every industry, we will find individual brands that were successful. In every industry. <clears throat> Build your brand with a marketing plan. I always say, in general, people don't type plans. The word, the word plan is a problem. And some of the excuses, they say, how can you build a plan? Right? And businesses say it. You meet, you come from different industries, and I am not known for a person not to say what's in his heart. You meet with chairman of banks and you tell them a plan, I have plan. No plan. Nobody believes in plan because it is a commitment that has objectives in it. It is a commitment to strategy and implementation, and people would say, no, we are day-to-day <coughs> -day people, especially if you live in unstable markets. 
building your own brand starts when? Sorry? Oh. When somebody plans whether you go to the famous story, French educated or English educated. They put you on the first days of plan. You are three years old. Somebody puts you on the first phase of planning. Then you increase your awareness and you start saying, scientific or not scientific, ES, LS, HS, I don't know all these S's anymore. <laughs> right? Then the serious planning comes at university. You are building a brand. As a kid, you are Ibn Flair or Binti Flair. As a teenager, you say, I am me. As a university, you start saying what you want to go. And that's your personal brand building. And competing in building the brand, you apply for a job. One person, ten people apply. And they compete. And they ask in the famous interviews, tell me, why should I hire you? I don't know you. I've never met before. I know your name on the CV. Tell me what comes with it. What added value. So brand is a plan. You ask people today, where would you like to be in five years? And they tell you, Allah <laughs> <laughs> I'm not asking about the macro environment. Tell me, where would you like to be in five years? If you know, then what kind of person would you like to be? What kind of a brand you want to be? What would you be known? What would you like to be known about? Creative, auditor, thick, glasses, auditor. What do you want? Pilot, what do you want to be? And they say, wow, mabari. Mabari. It's like asking Nestle, what would you like to know called the new chocolate? And they say, wala mabari. We will see how it goes. If Nestle can name brands, so can we brand ourselves. A plan. Plan starts with situation analysis. Know yourself and what's around you. Know yourself. We will talk a little bit later about yourself. But accept it. Know it. Know that brand. What does it have? It's like a product. It's simple. There is Kit Kat, the regular high calories. Then there is Kit Kat dark, lower calories. Then there is Kit Kat white, different. Know yourself, what kind? What are you good at? What are you not good at? If you don't know yourself, what's the problem? Sorry, go ahead. You cannot market everything you don't know. Exactly. And people will know you and you will say the famous word, <laughs> right? All these people, you ask them, how are you at work? Mahana and family is there. You know, I can't, it's impossible for me, all of you not to understand me, and I blame you. You see in me something, good or bad, that I don't know. So know yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, what do I want this thing to mean to be? Then, know your environment, know the groups you build. And we said, right, we, are, we became friends in 10 minutes, we can say everything, almost everything. All right? Know the environment around you, meaning what do they expect? What do they expect from me as well? Honesty, reliability, trustworthiness, why not give them that? Build it. Then you go home. Maybe if you have little kids, they want you to be the entertainer. You have great fathers sitting on the floor playing with kids. They don't understand trustworthiness, and so on. Then you go to meet friends. They want you to be the friendly friend. So now, what do your groups want? What is more difficult than managing a friend? Managing the situational branding elements. <coughs> Different situations require that people see me in a different way. You want me to go home and stand here and lecture my family? <laughs> Tara, they will call man and one one one. They will call one twelve. That is who? And you want me to go to businesses and be affectionate, hug the people? 
or come to university to teach students by hugging them and saying, wow, this is emotional education, the same brand. You are brands and you play different roles. So manage it according to the environment. Is this easy? Easy? Not easy. But it is easy if you make a decision and see it clearly. People say, I'm an absolute insane, not Kaya. I know not the Kaya. But 9 to 5, you are a manager in an institution. 5 to 7, you are our friends. We want to relieve the stress. 7 to 10, you are a responsible family member. Don't play us the same role all the time. The brand should mean different things to different people. Then, build your brand with objectives. Objectives. What do you want? What do you want? People say, why are you doing engineering? I have only medicine. <laughs> <laughs> you see them after 10 years. How are you in banking? It says, Maliyat Ahsan. Right? And I recently got a person that says, it says, I want you to write recommendation, I want to do PhD. Why? <laughs> what do you want? Right? Amazing. What do you want? And you are as if it is what complex Freudian question. What do you want? This is the first thing. If you know what you want, you build your brand accordingly. You want to be a creative person, you want to be a mathematician, you want to be known for building, building, become Foster or Atkins or other companies. You want to be known as an auditor, go join some of the auditors. I was going to say and Arthur Anderson, I forgot they are dead. Okay? Know what you want. But sometimes people ask me, short, medium, or long term? Sorry, go ahead. All of them. It's like building a building. Which is more important? Level 2 or level 5? You have to start with the basement. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until it is 20. Mish, every time you build two floors, say, no, 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 no. I decided I don't like this building. Destroy it, then build it again. And a lot of you are in careers like this. I've seen people in life who leave a university major three years into medicine and decided to do PhD music. I am not kidding. I have no problem with that. But at least you lost three, four years of time. In a brand, tell me what you want. And then it accordingly. You want to be the brand that is highly competitive, professional, acquire the tools. The tools are not rubbish packaging tools. The product is what comes. Learn your field well, learn your languages, and have the people skills to be able to deal with people all the time. Then, short, medium, and long term, accumulating your personal brand value. Somebody once told me in a multinational and said, experience is a history of success, not a lot of time. How long have you been working? 35 years. How many companies did you change? 28. <laughs> history of success. People always worry. Experience. Of course you have experience. Build it. How do you build it? One, two, three, four. Cumulative. Don't lose lifetime. Again we go. Imagine as they, they got the kick back. Five years later they said, Mahalo listen. Let's call it chocolate tea. <laughs> then three years later, we don't like it. Let's call it something else. One of the top brands in the world is Coca-Cola. 120 years Coca-Cola. Always delivering value. If a simple, and I say naive, I always say naive product. It's not nuclear physics. It could have been our Giller in a modern way. 120 years. And a person cannot build a brand for 80 years? Individual, in control of everything? It's our mistake, not people around us. Then, spread 
strategies, which direction you want to follow. I will tell you something I haven't said before. I graduated from IC and I didn't want to do business. When I graduated, you only did, if you are shot there, medicine or engineering. God reserve his soul, the director of IC went to my mother. <laughs> See? And they started debating me. Yeah, Tara, why doesn't he want to do medicine or engineering? I heard the debate. And they accused me of everything possible. You know. <laughs> Sorry? No, I was shouting. He is in love, he wants to finish early. And the guy called me to his office, and my mother talked to me, I mean, please, I don't like dead bodies, and I don't like stone. I like people. <laughs> right? Nothing, nothing. And when I entered the business school at the UB, it was, with all respect, for failing men or marriable women. <laughs> and two of us went there from my class. We were experimental science, which is today what, GS? Uh, LS. 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 Right? Two of us, and the rest are marriable women at that time. And up till now, my mother told me, you should have that medicine. <laughs> I am not kidding. And what, re what happens at the business building remains in the business building. <laughs> Am I clear? Okay. So strategies is know which direction you want to go. You want the science way, go the science way. You want to be the friend person, go the friend person. Know that you are a good friend. You listen, you don't talk. And so on. No, what do you want? It all starts with what you want. We don't learn to learn. We stay 25 years of our lives learning to make the second 25 to 50 years better. And usually people who learn to learn are either failures or nerds, which is a high class failure. <laughs> In business, business, of course, which business major, any person at the end of the day, you cannot be a nerd doctor that patients hate you. And you cannot be a nerd architect that clients suffocate when you they see you. You have to know what you want. Yes. Learning is a tool, it's not the only tool. Definitely is not the only tool. So strategies, then implementation. Do you know any people in your life who are good strategies over dinner? And lousy implementers in the day. They can talk and talk and talk and talk and they say, I think this is what's going to happen, I want to do this, I want to do that, and you tell them, what about implementation? And they tell you the famous Lebanese statement, Ma wata. La yiji wata. So, la yiji wata. Why are you planning something, Ma wata? A plan, by definition, is a working plan for its time, not another time. If it's not implementable, you need something's time. You are making the wrong plan. And implementation takes effort. You want to learn Chinese? It's difficult, but if you learn Chinese, now you are talking the language of 1.3 over 7, you make the man of the population of people, who will be in the year 2020 the biggest economy in the world. So if you are an educated architect, medicine, agriculture and engineer, who speaks Chinese in three years, now you have a plan and an implementation and a differentiation. And that's how we compete in life. Some of us stand in the row and say, say it, shall. Okay? And some people say, let me do something and say inshallah with it. Right? Then, evaluation and review. Are we allowed to make mistakes? Companies make made mistakes in products all across history, and they cancelled them, and they rebranded them. 
right? Major companies. And sometimes the products fail completely. There was a product like 7up by PepsiCo in the world called Team. T-E-E-M. They tried for 20 years to make Team competitor to 7up. It didn't work. They shot it and bought 7up. <laughs> Serious. They shot it and bought 7up. <coughs> the, same with the same with coffee mate. Meaning that we work to brand ourselves. We make a mistake. No problem. Make a mistake. The problem is not to acknowledge a mistake and not to correct it. And remember, marketing yourself, you cannot expect people to forgive you for mistakes. People around the world never forgave per year for a mistake. And up to now, per year suffers. If you know the story. Smell it tasting a bit like benzene, and it was owned by the Agnelli family, a great tradition, and then no, they worked hard, and people still say Perrier is not the Perrier we used to have. Nestle bought it, tried to push it, and it is still not doing well, profit-wise. Because on one morning, few cases around Europe tasted benzene. We don't forget. Aida, forgive me, I forgive you. It's good for you know what series. I'm not here to advertise that. Good man, yes. True. What did I say? Either rebrand because consumers don't forget. How do you rebrand yourself? By Azim, just remember, you cannot say people, please forgive me for what my brand meant to you six months ago, now I'm a different person. What I'm trying to tell you, it is difficult with products, it's more difficult with people. I never say it's impossible, but it's more difficult. Right? It's more difficult. This work, I am sorry, as I said, serious. You know what I mean? Series that make people cry, and then we see charges four thousand dollars a second for advertising. You know what I'm saying? Do I need to clarify? No. And at the end, it, there are personal brands. When people buy the picture of a person for ten dollars, that's personal branding. When they get a person, you like you and me. To sit near them on a wedding table for seventy thousand dollars per one hour, we singing sitting. <laughs> True? Do I need to clarify? I can clarify. Hello, the Turkish series, and they promoted over the years. Serious? We smile. I am not judging them. I am saying how they created the personal brand of a person, one of the actors, and I read her mom's name, who was invited to a wedding, paid $70,000 to stay, exactly, to be honest, 90 minutes near the bride and groom and leave. Wow. If this is not personal branding, God, what is it? Shanna Sidma. Okay? So evaluate your successes and review them. Correct mistakes. But please bear in mind, there is no free mistake. If anybody believes in free mistakes, tell me. Teach me what is a free mistake. We all would love to do it. Huh? Okay. Your brand knowledge. How do people get to know you? Sorry. Let's do it in a teasing way. One, thoughts. What people think about you. What do you want them to think? Marketing. What do you want them to think? What do they want them to know? Right? You want them to see your gold laser, so they think you are rich. They want them to see your uh, worldwide, your car, or they want them to see what book you are reading, so you are peer cultural. <laughs> okay. I don't know. What do you want them? What do they want them to think? You want to be a serious person, he or she, who never smiles under any condition? <laughs> there are some people like that. 
So what do we know? What do you want us to see you as? These are the thoughts. Put it in front of us and we will think accordingly. Then, how do you want us to feel? We always say there is the cognitive and the affective part of us. In dealing with each other, and I'm not a psychologist, as product exchanging value. This is what I know, and this is how I feel it. The affected part. Made the brand likable. No one of us likes to say, he is just Sa'id. <laughs> no one. Not in business. Right? Well, you have never met very successful, knowledgeable people, but everyone hates them. And they say, he is very good, but unbearable. Good technically. Thoughts, perfect. A. Feelings, minus zero. Right? And it happens across all professions. From a school teacher, and we all have lousy school teachers, were they lousy in knowledge? No. But they were lousy in communicating with us, in making us love it. Especially some of you, or a lot of us over the years, the Arabi. You see, somebody said it before me. The guy wrote books, but he was talking to us as if we were Sibawai. We were not Sibawai. We were 12 years old. Talk to us our level. Make us feel like it. Make us like you, as a professional. Like you, as a friend. You cannot tell me, I am a very dedicated friend, but I know I am difficult. I know I am unbearable, but you can trust me. What do I tell you? Be bearable and less trusty, I will be much better. Right? Third, beliefs. Now, beliefs is sometimes people around you have their own beliefs. They interpret you differently. Whose fault is it? Yours. They still advertise alien. Everybody knows alien. To keep reminding us that alien cleans. You have to stay all the time conscious that, yes, say it, I didn't hear it. Say it, please. Who said it? Okay. Increasingly aware of the fact you have to work to maintain the belief in my mind, <clears throat> professionally or personally. Because branding is not split half professional, half personal. <coughs> then, <coughs> images. We always say, let me ask you a simple question. Today is Friday evening. What if you came here and you don't know me and I came in the jogging suit? <laughs> what would you say first few seconds? Not see you. Well, why not see that? I'm the same person. I will say the same thing. An impression. Then, another impression, I stand here and say, like this, watch me. You are here to learn something. I appreciate it if you say nothing and stay and no questions allowed. <laughs> what did I do? I created my own horrible image. Did you create it? No, I did. I did. Miscommunication. Series of impressions create bad images. But, but some of the, like the, the perception of uh, those, of some people, can be like this, but uh, the other people might think different. Of course. Have you ever? Unless I always. Think, I mean, I, unless it's linked with the subject. Right? I will answer that, and I always say. It's all about perception. Sorry? Uh, I didn't hear it. It's all about? Perception. Ah, but you work to influence perception. You are right. Yes, you will never succeed 100% because with all respect to everybody, I always say, God the powerful on all of us, and in India they still worship the cow. <laughs> Without judgment, allow yourself the fact that there are no 100% roots around. But if you leave it to chance, then you are talking about the 0% rule, who shall not see, who must shall not see. If you want to be the shall not see, shall not see, fine. And you know the joke, right? When the one went to pray and said, God, help me with the lottery, and then God told them, my man, buy a ticket first. <laughs> OK? 
okay, do what you have to do. Then all of this, your brand is experiences. Whether we say, I have known him for a long time. What am I, masochist? I know him, he hurts, he hurts me, he bothers me, and we are still friends. We have had them in the company for 15 years. As a failure? Failure? No, good person. And so on, and so on. Experience, yani we try. And when we are aware, here of us, here we are, to create among our surroundings environments. Give them the good thought about us, the good belief, feelings, images, and good experiences, the brand becomes invaluable. You see, after 10 years in a good company, people get an offer double. Why? A study of success. Right? The brand becomes more, they, they become known. It's not that we're 10 years in the same company. I mean, in one, uh, year, in one year, a person can be successful, it's <coughs> equal to nine years of another person. Ah, so which man will you hire? And what parameters of success? I will hire the, the, the most successful. I didn't say Whether 10. Whether it's worth 10 years or one year. I, mean. I didn't say 10 as a number. But let me tell you in multinational standards, one year is not enough to value yeah, experience. Of course, but I mean, it's changing now. It's not a criteria. I mean, if he works 10 years or 20 years, he might be uh, also perceived as, a, as a, there's something wrong. I think we are, I am not saying the number of years I am saying the brand value. But even people who are very successful around the world, they allow time. Sometimes a doctor does an incredible operation and becomes known after one. Michael Dabari got known after the first open hour. Okay? But he has been working as a doctor for a long time. All right? Just keep the balance. <clears throat> and so be creative. He did something. Take a risk. People take risks. Go read about Sir Foster, who was an architect, how he took risks in building things. But what if he was so bright that he achieved, achieved everything he wanted, he wanted to achieve in a very short uh, period of time? Did I say he shouldn't? No. I Did you hear me? I say he shouldn't? No, but you're not answering. No, you are defining him bright. Yeah, he's bright. Okay, I mean, bright. He, he I mean, a lot of I mean, I'm not saying no. That I said, I'm not saying no, people. But please remember that you cannot say, I have been friend with her for one year. Now you should all judge me as a very honest friend. You cannot tell us. You have to understand. We may not evaluate you as a great friend in six months, no matter how good you are. You got me? You cannot force on people your brand. But you can influence their feelings, thoughts, beliefs, experiences, and images are in your hand. That's why people sometimes say, Mahada Okay, Mahada Fine. All right. I, I think, uh, who was it? Michelangelo had a problem being misunderstood. We understood them a few hundred years later. This happened. But in, in today, you cannot say, all these people are not understanding. Would you like me to give the speech in German and say it's your fault you're not understanding me? I have no problem, I speak German. And I will enjoy it, it will be practice. And you will all look at me and say, what is this? Dot, 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 dot. All right? Then, SWOT analysis. Analyzing strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. They ask me, do we do SWOT analysis for ourselves? Yes. <coughs> you are the, <coughs> sorry. You are the brand, so know yourself well. Well means objectively. Objectively means a real, real. Take a picture of yourself. You are a brand, so know what's wrong with that brand. What's wrong? What's good about that? In depth means you find. I am a nice person. I'm a good looking or whatever. That's not weakness or strength. In depth and focus on clarity of acceptance. 
if each one of us, me included, has a piece of paper and we say, write five strengths. Anyone has a problem? Anyone has a problem writing about themselves five strengths? Absolutely not. One weakness, please write it in your own hands, me included. All the parents say, my major weakness is, we will spend the weekend here. <laughs> you want me to write it with my own hands? My own weakness? It's difficult. But when I know it and I admit it to myself, then I manage it better. If the weakness of that product is in one element, we work at developing it. And if the weakness in myself is one element, some common weaknesses, I could be short-tempered. Right? This is becoming a major weakness all around. People lose their temper for two minutes, break everything around them, then they say, sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> You know what is it called? It's called the bull in the glass shop syndrome. Yeah, the bull loses, it breaks everything in the shop, and the bull says sorry. Everything is broken. Right? If I am that temper, I should say, be careful, this is damaging you in friends, family, and in profession. Work on it. If my weakness is I am pretentious. Yeah, I'm a good talker, non-deliverer. I should be careful. I cannot cheat people. All the time, with good talk, I am the guy. I am what you are looking for. I am the friend you are looking for. I am the husband or wife you are looking for. I am the employee of your company. Great. Then we try him or her in any of the above. Three months, we get divorce, firing, and so on. Good talk. Be careful. I am saying, if your weakness, except you are a good talker, but you don't deliver, know yourself. Right? Know yourself. You cannot cheat all people all the time. True? Okay. Then, strength. Use them. Education is a strength, success is a strength, history of success is a strength, persistence is a strength, I never give up, and so on. Use them. They are time and situation sensitive, so keep developing them. Meaning, if what you have as a strength today is a strength, if you don't develop it, it will not be a strength in 10 years. Unfortunately, yes, it will not be not up to them. Yeah, I mean, you graduate today and with anything. You go out from a company after experience. You have great experience. The business changes. Tala of the banks. Banks, they now they call retailing. Retailing, yeah, I mean, H&M, yeah, I mean, this is retailing. Now we are retailing in banks. You have people working in banks for 20 years and all of a sudden they need update in the concept of retail. You as a person, you graduate with a degree. Keep updating it. The degree is only one pass, one major fundamental block. It is not valid for a lifetime. Whatever you do, stay updated. The brands need to be updated. We don't want anybody saying about anybody Model Adim. And Model Adim has nothing to do with age or anything. There are Model Adim at 30. Go around in several businesses, you will find them. They part. They got the degree and they say, I am the brand that is peaceful. Don't attack me, I don't attack you. Put me on a chair, secure my income, and leave me alone. <coughs> Happily ever after. Okay? Then, do not fall into the three C's trap. You ever seen this three C's trap? 
One is complacency. Complacency, yani, me, I have made it. What are you now? I am a manager. Hey, I have made it. Complacent. Do effort to change. I don't want to. Update, move. Everybody around you will know you are complacent. Means when there is a promotion, when there is new friendship, new outing, new anything, don't talk to him or her. They are the comfortable complacent people. Nine to five, six to seven in traffic, seven to ten TV, ten to six TV. <laughs> complacent people. The second element of the trap is conservatism. This is the way we used to do it. Yani, I, sorry? Bravo, Alec. What is to be successful will continue to be successful. Yani, I heard, if you don't mind, somebody yesterday somewhere saying, when we were young, this is how we used to play. You were young, and this is how you said it. What do I do? You children have iPad, iPod, Internet. What? What do you do? Shoot Bill Gates, shoot Google people.